Hi guys, this is Vaish from Vaish IAS and we are going to continue the R.S. Sharma series for ancient history. Okay, so this is chapter 6, Harappanese. We have done up to the Chalkolithi case in the last video. So again, this is the most favorite topic of UPSC. You know, in 2017 also there were questions. Okay, there are I think totally only 12 or 13 questions in overall history. But 2-3 uh, questions come from this always. So even the controversial question of the horse, whether it is aware, aware of the Harappan civilization or not. We'll see what this textbook tells us. Okay, class 6, the NCRT also please go and watch. Class 6 is dedicated to ancient history. So class 6 plus this series. Okay, that is what is what you have to do. That's a must do for ancient history. Similarly, medieval India will be class 7 NCRT plus the Satish Chandra series which we will begin after this series. Okay, then uh, class 8 will be modern history and then my spectrum series is always there for you. 25 chapters are there and students most favorite in my channel is also the spectrum series because we have done it like no other channel has ever done. Okay, so please make use of that and don't miss even single question in 2018 prelims from history. Okay, geography series also started, economic series is also there. There are things which have been started and important things are covered and MCQ PDFs for every subject including science and tech environment everything is there in my Facebook page the link is given. Please come and message me there. I am there all the time. 24 hours I will be there. You can message me anytime okay and you will get details about how to purchase it again okay it will be full coverage you will not miss anything that is what we believe because we are picking up all from standard books PIB Hindu current affairs from everywhere we are picking up questions so please try to get it before your prelims now let's start the PDF you know where to get it just Google you will get it okay many websites have it already uploaded Harappan civilization chapter number six so they're telling the geog geographical extent the Indus or the Harappan culture is older than the Chalcolithic culture I have told you in the last video also which have been uh, treated earlier okay I think it's continuing here okay which have been treated earlier but it is far more developed than these cultures it arose in the northwestern part of Indian subcontinent if you remember Chalcolithic was coming in the later timeline and it is less ad less advanced and also it was in the central India but this is actually in the northwestern part of Indian subcontinent that is now presently most of them are in the Pakistan region that we will see later okay so it's called Harappan because Harappan was the first site to be found in 1921 okay it's not you can ask that also like it is because you Harappan was the largest site Harappan was the most religious site what is the reason okay the reason is like it was the first one discovered that's all and all the other cities also it's like now called Harappan even though Harappa is just one of the city even when you refer to Lothal if you uh, refer to Surkodata any site they will simply tell Harappan cities okay that generally is now same as the meaning of Indus Valley civilization okay Harappan Indus Valley both are same but Harappa you should know it is just a city name initially so it's now in the western Punjab in Pakistan region Harappan culture covered parts of Punjab, Sindh, Baluchistan, so you see everything is now Pakistan, Gujarat, Rajasthan and the fringes of western Uttar Pradesh, okay. It extended from, so these are the four boundaries they are telling, not exact, I will show you the exact one in this another place. Uh, Jammu is there in the north, uh, Narmada estuary in the south, then uh, Makran coast of Baluchistan, that will be the west and then Meerut in the northeast, okay, that is east actually they are telling, that is Uttar Pradesh region. So area formed a triangle, you don't need all those things, then uh, cert it's at certainly bigger than Egyptian or Mesopotamia. Okay, these are the contemporary civilizations, Mesopotamia, Mesopotamia you know near the uh, Iraq region you can tell where the Tigris Euphrates river was there and Egypt where the Nile river is there and Harappan obviously the Indus river is there. So everywhere river system was there and these are contemporary civilizations. Now although over 250 Harappan sites are known, only 6 can be regarded as cities. Okay, so 6 important cities they are telling, one is uh, Harappa, then it's Mohanjadaro and Sindh region. Okay, Okay, both are now in Pakistan. Then they are telling about the Chanu Daro. Okay, Chanu Daro. Again, maps are all in Class 6 NCRT. Please go and see. Elaborate maps have been shown to you. Uh, Chanu Daro, uh, again, 130 kilometers south of Mohanjo Daro. That's also Sindh. Okay, so Mohanjo Daro and Chanu Daro is in Sindh. Harappa is in Punjab. That is Pakistan, Punjab. And then Lothal in Gujarat, you know. In Gulf of Kambe or Gulf of Khambat, you tell. Then fifth city is Kalibangan in uh, Rajasthan. And then there is Banavali in uh, Haryana. Okay, so six important cities they are starting with. And they are telling uh, this uh, mud brick platforms, where there are streets, where there are drains, where there are all general things. We'll see, we'll zoom into each of these things later. Then again, two coastal cities they are telling in the mature phase. Okay, so mature phase coastal cities are uh, Sukta Gandor and Surkotada. Okay, so Sukta Gandor is actually in the Balochistan region only in the western side, and Surkotada is actually near the Gujarat region. That is the place where horse kind of remains were there, and that is why it is controversial. Now, uh, again, two places, Rangpur and Rojdi. Okay, Rangpur and Rojdi are the later Harappan phase. So, they are telling the flourishing cities, then the mature phase, then the later uh, Harappan phase. So, three phases. And I will show you my Excel where I make notes. The thing which you have to do, I will not do it for you, but uh, I will show you. So, if you see here, I have this uh, Excel sheet here. And uh, I have made columns like this, like what is the description? One, like, so six flourishing cities are there, matured phase is there, later phase is there. 
okay so for everything you won't get terms but whatever you get it write down okay and the state names are there um, you see punjab pakistan sindh is there sindh you know already it's in pakistan then these places okay now you know this much only but this column you will get in the later phase of this chapter that's how you learn okay everything is there so if you see i made horse because it was there but you pc asked a question kind of strange question so we don't know whether it's true or false now we'll see continue the this thing town planning and structure the harappan culture was distinguished by the its system of town planning harappan mounds are each had a citadel or acropolis they called which was possibly occupied by this is a map again not clear so please watch class 6th video so members of the ruling class okay the citadel members of the ruling class below the citadel in the city lay a lower town that is brick houses where common people will be living mounds are a movie shows that citadel and uh, town but uh, most of the other facts are distorted in that because they show a lot of houses and all so every fact in mounds are movie is not good so don't believe blindly but the citadel is shown there okay the elevated city you can tell then the grid system that is houses were in right angles and all the streets were in right angles uh, then every every house will have this uh, uh, public uh, sorry every house will have this courtyard kind of thing that toilet kind of thing balcony kind of thing they, that kind of advanced uh, houses they had then uh, monjodaro seems to have the great bath okay so religious things we don't know much information but great bath seem to be used for uh, maybe the ritual uh, bathing or that kind of thing at that time and they had the side rooms for changing clothes then floor of the bath was made of burnt bricks burnt bricks is again a very important feature because in the egyptian civilization i think it was completely absent and in mesopotamian civilization it was there but it was limited so burnt bricks the most usage was there in this civilization harappan civilization okay then great bath uh, led to a drain this outlet was there then it you can try to imagine the picture it is shown in the movie also one song itself is there in monjodaro movie showing the entire great bath then um, ritual bathing religious ceremony largest building was a granary okay so large granary and great bath that is the great features of monjodaro pictures are not clear so i am don't want to show you you should see class 6 video then citadel of harappa is there then here six granaries are there so the largest granary was in monjodaro but more number of granaries are there in the harappa okay and again brick platforms are there by the river bank then uh, this thing threshing of grains okay they had this circular brick platform where grains used to be threshed so that is what they had the storage facility also and the threshing facility also now next is about kalibangan kalibangan they are telling uh, southern part brick platform which may have been used for granaries so again granaries are there it is important kalibangan i'll tell you one more feature it had wells okay the irrigation well well system was there in kalibangan in plenty that is one feature make a note again i'll show you the excel sheet so that it will be here i would have made notes like a uh, kalibangan wells no drainage system or baked bricks uh, camel bones so there are different different places i get it so i make a note then one more thing uh, banavali barli okay and these places i'll show you again let the this thing uh, one important thing uh, this northwest southeast i told you right uh, jammu and kashmir and all this. these are exact places okay uh, manda akhnur in jammu and kashmir Uh, Sukta Gandhar, Balochistan, Pakistan. That is the American coast. This is the western coast. South it will be Dhaimabad in uh, Maharashtra, and east it will be Alamgirpur in Meerut. So just the pinpoint in the exact location. In this textbook, they don't have the exact places. That is why I wanted to show you. Okay, so make a note of this thing also. Pause it and make a note. Now. Uh, the use of burnt bricks in the harappan city is remarkable because uh, i told you same thing they are telling again okay the egyptian did not have it and the mesopotamian had limited use okay temporary use then they are telling about uh, kalibangan many houses had their wells that also i told you then street drains equipped with manholes were there uh, banavali also they had this uh, drain system so drain system is common okay every city perhaps no other civilization gave so much attention to health and cleanliness as the harappan you basically can put this statement and tell you elaborate to justify elucidate they'll give any keyword like that but you have to write this entire chapter for that then agriculture comparatively rainless the indus region you know this area northwest now it is full of desert region right but how come that time it is like this so that is what historians are telling that time it was fertile because of the flourishing river system even they are telling floods used to happen maybe the ex uh, end of the civilization also they are telling us uh, like flood came and then entire population was wiped away so that kind of stories are there you should know that time it was very fertile region even though now it is like less rainfall they had the storage system they used to have irrigation system but uh, more important specific facts are there you should know like they never had a channel or canal irrigation system okay they did not have that will be mentioned somewhere in this chapter but you should make a note now okay no channel or canal irrigation in indus valley civilization so if you see here alexander that uh, great that time uh, he was the one popular king so his uh, some writings are there the historians of that time they are telling uh, telling like sindh used to be very fertile part okay so that time it was very fertile 
because also they used to burn bricks right to burn bricks you need this uh, timber kind of wood and all so wood if you need you need plantation so plantation means you need fertile soil so that kind of conclusions historians like go by chain chain and they try to make stories okay that is how we know about history of india then again uh, they had more alluvial soil than in the nigar egypt so again telling about this fertile fertile thing going around and round um, so this harvesting time time they telling after the rains in november or something they will sow the seeds it will be given here okay in november and by april they will do the harvesting and another important thing no hoe or uh, plow share has been discovered okay so originally it was not discovered but there are toy figures actually of plow and all that is how they conclude like they used to use the plow okay and also this uh, soil plow if you see the soil they can understand so that way they are concluding it but they have uh, discovered so they are concluding another thing like maybe it was made of wood that is why it got destroyed okay probably it was wooden plow share because it doesn't ex exist now so it would have uh, got uh, degraded or destroyed that is what they are telling then again one term uh, gabarbans or nalas okay this is actually kind of water storing feature okay enclosed by dams for storing water were features in part of baluchistan afghanistan so if they ask what is gabarban in our mcq video also i think we have that question what does this refer to in context of uh, indus valley civilization so it is actually water storing feature okay so then let's continue harappan villages mostly situated near the flood plains again telling that thing only uh, merchants were there artisans were there obviously it's telling it's a flourishing society because it had all this agriculture and trade and all then banavali i told you barley okay b and b is easy to remember banavali barley then uh, lothal is again a kind of a port city you can tell near gujarat the gulf of cambay then food grains were stored in huge quantity here and they telling cereals were received as taxes from peasants and stored in granary for the payment of wages so this statement if you press puts it's true okay because you'll think it's false like cereals were collected as taxes or it is used in payment of wages this kind of thing it may sound false but it is true okay so again it's like saying uh, similar to mesopotamian cities where some barley was used for paying things and then one more important thing sindon okay the uh, some greeks called the civilization as sindon it is actually a mixture of this sindh plus cotton okay because it's in the region of sindh and it, they are producing cotton greeks refer to the indus valley people as sindon okay then uh, domestication of animals again almost every uh, domestic animal will be there dogs are there cats are there because their footprints kind of thing have been discovered it seems uh, dog goat sheep buffalo is there evidence of horse okay evidence of horse comes from a superficial level of mohenjo daro and from a doubtful terracotta figurine from lothal the remains of the horse have been reported from surkotra so reading this we people upsc students will obviously feel like horses were at least aware to these people and that is exactly what upsc framed the question they did not ask whether they are using it or not because if you see the next statement it is clear that this animal was not in regular use in harappan times okay that we can understand but the way which upsc framed the question was like no evidence has been found where uh, Uh, these harappans were like aware of the animal they were not at all aware that is what they formed the statement so obviously we'll find it wrong right because we know it is like aware at least so that is why we have to wait for the answer key what they have in mind okay whether it's true or false this is what ncert they have no clear picture but it tells kind of thing was found now elephants elephants were actually known to harappans rhinoceros were known to harappans so these kind of things you should know okay elephants rhinoceros then they in these domestic animals all these were known but horses controversial okay and they are telling about the mesopotamia the contemporary thing cities sumerian cities in con uh, mesopotamian civilization they actually had the same kind of food grains and domesticated same kind of animals but one thing is different these people did not know about elephants and they did not domesticate elephants maybe they knew it but they did not domesticate and i think rice also was not produced so that is one difference they are telling between harappa and mesopotamia you should know these kind of things technology and craft so you know harappan bronze was the most important metal it's not used widely but bronze civilization it is and so obviously they should know this copper smelting and all and they should know this copper and tin mixing so that thing copper was there in rajasthan and khetri mines and tin will be brought from afghanistan okay even tin was there in slight amount in hazaribagh which is in bihar so they are telling that tin copper mixing and this thing same story knives tools spears all these things were there flourishing harappan society spindle walls were used for spinning so you know cotton was there wool was there so they had the spinning also so bronze is one thing wool is one thing cotton is one thing then again jewelry okay goldsmith made of if you see silver gold and precious stones all these were there this also was a statement last time one statement was like uh, you this uh, and indus valley people uh, used silver gold and iron okay and if you know iron is a wrong answer so that statement was false silver and gold is there but iron is the later phase iron phase will which we'll learn later okay so you basically this is how they do they just picking from ncert very very simple statement and we people are finding the prelims difficult so please focus more again pottery they are telling they had their own characteristics and glossy and shining okay the pottery 
So that's about the technology and craft. Now trade. Trade, you know, this is also one imp very important statement. They did not use metallic money. Okay, so they had this barter system and they had the seals and all. So they used to exchange goods and then put the seal on them. And they carried the things in bo uh, boats and bullock carts. This again in Mohanjadara movie they are showing. Uh, but uh, they showed very too much elaborately, which is uh, which cannot be believed. Then um, use of wheel was there. Then some kind of modern Ikka they are telling. It's all like just appears. It's not like clear cut fact. Not important. Then uh, Tigris and Euphrates, you know, the place in uh, Mesopotamia, the rivers in Mesopotamian civilization. So just doing a comparative thing, telling like there were commercial tie-up, commercial link, okay, because things were found. One thing which is produced here is found there, or whatever produced there is found here. Okay, some cosmetics kind of thing were there. They were urban people. Okay, in I think classic chap chapter they have told they even used this eye eyeliner kind of thing, the lipstick kind of thing and uh, all kind of jewelries even men and women both found jewelry that is why dead bodies they were difficult to identify whether it is a man or woman that kind of things we have already discussed in class 6 okay then this is again one important thing they are telling uh, mesopotamian people they are telling about a text okay where they have told about trading stations that is dilmun and makkan and the statement is like it lies between mesopotamia and meluha okay so with this they are concluding like meluha means indus valley civilization and this dilmun which is there in the center they are telling it is the bahrain region okay so that kind of statements UPC can pick it up, okay, present day which country it is identified as or something like that, okay. So Meluha is the Indus Valley Civilization and uh, Bahrain is referred to as Dilmun and Dilmun and Makkan both lies between this Mesopotamia, that is Iraq region and uh, Meluha, that is Indus Valley Civilization. That is what they are telling, historians conclusions only, okay. Again Mother Goddess figure you can see here, oh, good pictures are there in classics. Political organization they are telling there is no clear idea but one thing they are surely telling like there were no temples, okay. There were no temples and religious structures like too much. Only great bath they are telling like it is like a religious a ritual bathing place. Then uh, one more thing will be there. Let me see. So religious practices here. This uh, mother goddess or kind of woman figure was there where plant is growing out of the embryo of a woman. So they are telling maybe it is mother earth actually. Okay. They are worshipping the earth as a mother goddess. Then uh, they are telling in Egyptian civilization also they had this like Nile goddess was worshipped. Is like uh, uh, what is it? showcasing earth for respect for the earth. Then this is again one important thing. Egyptian were actually a matriarchal people. Okay, that means the woman or daughter will inherit the next one, next generation. So it's like matriarchal that is surely told. But for Harappans, they are telling it is not sure whether it is matriarchal or patriarchal. So if a statement comes like uh, Egyptian were matriarchal and this the Harappans were patriarchal that Harappan statement will become false because for Harappan it is not till now concluded okay but the other I think Roman civilization or something they asked it will be matriarchal only you know all the Roman kings and all of that so that kind of statements are tricky you should know it and these goddesses this Durga, Amba, Kali and all it's all coming later only in Puranas and all it is not there in the Harappan civilization only mother goddess is there so that is the female part now we will see the male part so here they are telling uh, one male deity was represented on a seal it's actually the Pashupati seal for which you basically keeps on asking questions it has three heads and uh, horns also it has and it is in the sitting posture of a yogi okay even in Nithin Singhania notes you will find the same thing uh, sitting posture of a yogi placing one foot on the other this picture is not clear please watch the other video then the god is surrounded by an elephant this actually I remember like a BRET okay Brett like buffalo rhino elephant tiger Brett same way I will ask you one more question the national emblem of India where you have that uh, Ashoka thing that uh, under that also four animals are there okay so that is not same as this thing UPSC can ask this with that okay they can compare so I am telling you this is BRET and that is BHEL BHEL okay that is how I remember uh, that is I think bull horse elephant and lion okay Bhel. I am telling about the national emblem. But here Pashupati seal, it is Brett, Buffalo, Rhino, Elephant, Tiger. You have to make your own shortcuts. This is how I remember. I never forget it because I make tricks like this. And also one more thing, two deer also was there. Okay, in the feet. Okay, it's not clear here. See some other picture. So, Brett plus Tiger. Again, if you UPC ask like these are the only animals, again it will become wrong because these two deer were also found. And they are telling these were all worshipped because it was found in the, along with this Pashupati thing or the Shiva type or uh, Pashupati Mahadeva I mentioned here. Okay. In later phase, uh, Aryan civilization and all, you will see the same thing will be uh, worshipped as Shiva. And here it is telling about the Fallu's worship. So, if the UPC asks what this is like or who it is referring to, it is Shiva actually. It is the male organ worship, you can tell the Linga concept which will come later. Okay, so that is the uh, Fallu's worship. So, again, uh, male, female, both that kind of worship used to happen. Uh, Rig Veda speaks of the non Aryan people who were Fallu's worshippers. So, non Aryan means obviously the Harappans because it's Harap Aryans are coming in the later phase, right? So, non Aryans is mentioned in the Rig Veda and they are doing this Fallu's worship. So, that's also clear and there is written evidence. Now, tree and animal worship again, people tree, very, very important. Okay. 
uh, then uh, humped bull okay humped bull is again important you can see here then uh, animal surrounding pashupati i told you all those animal names and it's similar like temple actually was common in egypt and mesopotamia but in indus valley temples were not there okay please remember it was not there next important thing amulets were found amulets were found means you know that thing which you tie in your hand kind of thing okay to protect you from ghost or evil forces so they're telling they would have believed in that kind of spirits okay ghost or evil forces but they did not have temples atharva veda is again a veda which tells about the these kind of things evil forces and uh, uh, charms uh, spells these kind of things are there in atharva veda you basically can ask they used to ask veda related question like gayatri mantra is taken from which veda they have asked it okay so try to find out that if you know it tell in comment section so that others also know the harappan script very very important they had a script and it's still not deciphered uh, deciphered okay so uh, uh, deciphered okay sorry <laughs> then again uh, this i uh, think timeline not important okay and they are telling the relation they are telling some are telling it's proto dravidian they are some are telling it's related to sanskrit and then sumerian language they have lot of conclusions but it is still not uh, uh, deciphered okay then uh, this uh, okay i think it's done uh, seals were there seals are again important one uh, steatite rock is there i told you s t a t i t e okay that is a soft rock kind of thing on which seals were formed and it had uh, pictographs most of them it's not alphabetic it's pictures that's why it's difficult to um, find out wh what it means then okay so it's found in western asia it's multiple places that is how they control like trade was happening uh, pottery picture shown lothal again gujarat so they used to do record keeping kind of thing they are telling weights and measure system they had then the weighing was almost in uh, the uh, 16 okay units of 16 they used to do 16 64 160 like that they used to do they are comparing it with the modern day 1 rupee which was uh, uh, this is 16 annas made 1 rupee so they are comparing like it continued even after a long time harappan pottery so they had this pottery wheel pottery they had design several designs were there seals one horned bull buffalo again those same animals which i told you okay seals were there this is some seals discovered from kalibangan they are showing the picture any absolute statement upsc puts like seals were found only here or almost everything was here such things are not will be false okay that's why i'm telling you these general things a woman dancer made of bronze is found okay only i think uh, uh, like uh, no dress was there only a necklace is there so that kind of thing is there Class six, I have shown you detailed picture and how it is made and the bronze uh, met method of uh, creating statues and all. Terracotta figurines again of gods, animals, toys. I told you about the plow also. The plow was actually only only a toy they discovered. They could not find out the actual plow. So that also becomes important. Origin, maturity, and they are telling the Harappan culture existed between 2500 BC and 1750 BC. So now you can clearly understand the timeline because I told you Chalcolithic is just 1800 BC to 1000 BC. So obviously it is coming later, but it is a very backward phase compared to Harappan. Then again, flourishing phase is 2200 BC to 2000 BC. I showed you all the city names. Why city is important? And uh, changes in Mohenjo. They are telling the same city over time. They used to have different different types of pottery. So it is evolving kind of society. That is what they are trying to intend. from this slide then harappan mohenjo disappeared and it's like a gradually continued it's like we you know the it's inconclusive okay they told like floods can happen or also there is place where a uh, lot of dead bodies were found together the skeletons were found together so they are telling maybe some war there is no proof like war happened but they are telling the aryans came and then they killed many of them or something like that so there is also one conclusion so and conclusion of harappa is still not given by any historian so you don't have to worry you can give these kind of different different uh, angles to it only okay then uh, floods rods okay there is no much information here rectangular houses with uh, brick lined bathrooms and wells together with their stairways were found in harappan cities okay so anything you pay support all are true okay rectangular houses stairways wells excellent drainage system you know and it's not comparable to any other civilization they are telling the harappan produced their own characteristic pottery i already already told you invented their own typical script no resemblance to egyptian and mesopotamian script stone implements they used bronze they used even though bronze was the major one or bronze civilization it was it's not like they stopped using stone or copper okay that is one important thing then fertility decreases with time um, salinity of the soil channel irrigation i told you channel irrigation and uh, this thing uh, canal irrigation was not used by these people
in later phase of Harappan culture some exotic tools and pottery indicated to indicated the slow percolation of the new people so they are telling later phases new new tools have been discovered so they are telling so other than Harappan someone have come here that is how the coming of Aryans which you will see in the next chapter in detail that is how it is beginning okay then uh, jewelries were buried at places skulls were hurdled together so they were hurdled together so they think like some kind of uh, conflict happened okay in Monjudaro although basically they seem to be Indian they may betray some foreign influence so again telling some foreign influence was there someone was coming in and that is how these people uh, society ended grey ware pottery okay psychologically we saw that red and black here they are telling painted grey ware this is also important because in next next phases you will see different different kinds of pottery so we can put a match the following okay uh, horse riding people came from the Iran region they are telling so that may be the Aryans Rig Vedic Aryans again they are telling settled in the land of seven rivers Tell me in comment section what they mean by this seven rivers. Okay, these people settled in the land of seven rivers means which seven rivers are they referring to? It's very easy if you know what is Indus Valley Civilization. So just tell me in comment section. Okay, so now this questions just pause and see, but I'll show you better MCQs for UPSC practice. First question. With respect to ancient Indian history, what is the significance of Makaran Coast? I have told you this in this chapter itself. If you don't recall, watch it again and tell me which is the correct answer. Uh, but this choice will anyway tell you the answer because it's all about different phases. Richest uh, fishing harbor of the Salcolithic phase, Kerala coast popular for trade with Roman Empire, westernmost coast of the Indus Valley Civilization and southernmost region of the Neolithic phase. Now because you have done the chapter and immediately seen the question, it's a very simple question else it will become confusing for some students because all the four are uh, possible sites of different different phases. Next question, which of the following are true regarding IVC in the Swari civilization? The biggest granary was found at Monchudaro. Harappa had more number of granaries than Monchudaro. The floor of Great Bath was made of burnt bricks. Okay, the floor they are asking. Then baked bricks were more extensively in the Swari civilization compared to Mesopotamian civilization. All these are picked up from various paragraphs of the same chapter. Okay, one more question, which of the following ancient sites are now in Pakistan? Okay, this is not only a Harappan civilization, but other sites also Harappa, Monjaro, Gandhara, Taxila. So please tell me in comment section which of these are found in Pakistan right now, in present day Pakistan. If you want to see more questions, I can show you more questions because I have lots regarding uh, this and uh, sorry, this inter civilization. If you see here, Meluha is considered by historians as the ancient name for which civilization. So they can ask this. Okay, if you have not studied this chapter, you will never know like Meluha is inter civilization. Next again that uh, Bahrain thing, uh, Mesopotamian text refer to the trading post Dilmun in between Mesopotamia and Meluha. Dilmun can be identified as the present day, which one? Okay, Bahrain is not in new, so maybe question won't come, but I don't take any chances, that's why we prepare keep questions like this. Which of the following is false regarding Indus Valley Civilization? Again, if you see, highlighted one is false, obviously, the metallic money. It's selling is the first civilization to use, but you know it is not because you studied in this chapter. Other statements also will be confusing if you have not studied, so please try to read it. Okay, I'm not reading it out. Please try to read it. Again, this water storing facility. I'm not showing the question. Tell me in comment section what is the question for this. Okay, what is water storing facility? If the answer has to be this, you should know in this chapter you have learned something. So tell me that. Uh, Okay, like this multiple questions are there, 250 questions you can purchase and just ensure that everything in prelims 2018 is answered. Please contact our Facebook page for more details. I'll come up with the next video soon. Till then, enjoy your learning. Thank you and have a nice day.